Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. While the nation is all geared up to celebrate a virtual Independence Day, India to unleash two of its mighty weapon this very day to project its strength. Both of these are indigenously built beasts of navy which are bound to give nightmare to Indian adversaries in the blue water. The first one is a much discussed aircraft carrier INS Vikrant which has just returned from its five days of basic trials and the second one is ballistic missile submarine or SSBN which is called S3 or Ariga. Both the platforms are indigenously designed and constructed and is, is the result of complex programs ran over decades with pure determination, hard work and spirit of nation. They are going to be the largest and most sophisticated platforms to be built within the country. The twin platform will be the star attractions of the government celebration marking 75th anniversary of India's independence. They will also make a shining example of the government's Aath Nirvar Bharat and make in India thrust to create an indigenous defense manufacturing base. Talking about the SSBN, it is the second unit of Arihant class of four SSBNs weighing 6000 tons and indigenously built by Mazgao Docks Limited. The first unit of Arihant class submarine, the INS Arihant, was commissioned into Navy in August 2016 and the last reportedly was on sea trials on somewhere in 2020 and will be on sea trials sometime this year. India's SSPN program is much classified military project so there are more chances that INS Arihat will be commissioned tactfully. Also, the locations of SSBNs are kept confidential. They are sitting duck deep inside water ready to launch nuclear attack at the need of R. The S3 will form the part of India's Strategic Forces Command which controls India's nuclear deterrent. It carries an arsenal of 12 K-15 short-range SLBMs which has a range of 1000 km or less and 4 K-4 medium-range SLBMs which have a range of 3500 km. These missiles increases the survivability of India's nuclear deterrent and allows for a second strike capability against our adversaries. Talking about Vikrant, it is 262 meters long. If it were placed upright, it would be 80 meters longer than the statue of Sadar Patel in Kavadia, Gujarat. The Vikrant is 40,000 plus ton warship, which is more than three times the weight of its predecessors with a deck area of 2.5 acres. Vikrant will give Indian Navy a second floating fast moving airfield from which it can launch 14 aircrafts and 10 helicopters. With its 32 Barak 8 missiles, it can neutralize any aerial threat from a distance of 100 to 150 kilometers. It is capable of launching attack on surface sea and below sea. The beast is accompanied by two destroyers, two or more than two frigates, a warship and a submarine. It is completely independent army in itself, capable of engaging any threat. Both the platforms are few months away from being commissioned, expected somewhere in 2022. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.